she's like, um, this, and then this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we are going to have another episode of me drawing my character and chatting with you so draw a character with me Today we are going to draw the one, the only Ilsa Faust from Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and Fallout uh, Like one week ago I watched Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and Mission Impossible Fallout and I really really like the character Ilsa Faust because if you'll I'm kind of a big fan of Rebecca Ferguson these days because during October I watched Dune and I fell in love with Lady Jessica so and she's played by Rebecca Ferguson so I started like searching up what movies have Rebecca Ferguson been in and I searched up Mission Impossible and of course I knew what Mission Impossible was because it was like really famous and popular some of my friends like it but I've never watched it before but now since I have the kind of the reasoning to watch it because of Rebecca Ferguson I decided to watch it I actually started the Mission Impossible series by watching the fifth film which is Rogue Nation since that's the first film that Rebecca Ferguson Ilsa, Ilsa Faust is in I love the character Ilsa Faust she is just so cool like Trinity I actually already have kind of a pencil sketch right now because I started this a bit earlier but now we're just gonna start filming right now so let's chat I'm not gonna give like too much spoilers in, in this video so you don't have to worry about like spoilers or anything but Ilsa Faust is a I think she is like a agent like a British intelligence um, agent that doesn't really have a side so she's like rogue sometimes she seems like she works for Ethan sometimes she works for MI6 sometimes she works for the syndicate which is a um, like a bad organization that's like villains in the film and yeah so Ilsa doesn't really have a one side that she like, belongs to she sort of just helps different people along the way which I think is really cool because like people never know your true identity you know so yeah i think that's first of all her identity is really cool after i see a movie i'll just google everything i'll google like interviews i'll watch all the interviews on youtube of that movie and i'll watch and i'll like search up actors and stuff so i actually i found out that the director actually really likes to compare her to ingrid bergman like so many references in the fifth film is like references to Casablanca, like literally, starting from her name. I bet all of you know this already, but her name Ilsa. Ingrid Bergman's character in Casablanca is also called Ilsa. Coincidence? I think not. And also like Rebecca Ferguson and Ingrid Bergman is both Swedish, which I think is really cool by the way i'm currently learning swedish because of her <laughs> now the killer thigh move <laughs> so the iconic move trinity's iconic move is this and then kick someone you know in the air ilsa's iconic move is literally climb onto the person's neck and then like wraps her thighs around the person's neck and then <sighs> i love every scene where she does that move it's so cool She has hair covering her face, so I had to know. I had to kind of like figure out how to draw that. And oh my god, guys, like I've seen so many pictures of the Rebecca and like other actors filming Mission Impossible 7 lately. Like I saw so many behind the scenes pictures, and uh, I want to see Mission Impossible 7 so much. Like, er, it was supposed to be released a long time ago, and then it just got delayed and delayed and delayed to like next year. Like why? Oh my god! I just realized something. Oh my god, there's if they don't delay it again, there's a good side to everything. Like it was supposed to be this year, which I'm so excited for because so many movies were up this year, like The Matrix, Fantastic Beasts, and now Mission Impossible. But it's been moved to next year. Of course Jill is sad. But Dune Part 2 is also gonna be released next year, 2023. So, I mean, 2033, like, Rebecca movies all the way, <laughs> you know? It's, like, Rebecca movie year. Jessica and Ilsa, yes. So, yeah, that's the positive side, but I still want to see it so much because the behind-the-scenes pictures look so cool. And actually, like, now that I've seen Mission 1 and Mission 2, I actually also really like Tom Cruise now. Don't tell anyone, I think he's really handsome. <laughs> okay, I'm drawing Ilsa's eyes right now. Her eyes 
really really fierce eyes like with like fire in her eyes oh my god oh my god do you think i should draw ethan hunt as well i think i should and also like do y'all think that Ethan and Ilsa will end up together because like Rebecca's gonna be in a lot of mission movies now So will they kind of like have a relationship? But I don't think so because like you know Ethan likes Julia. I think Julia's nice as well Ilsa likes Julia as well. Ilsa's like oh I like her. Okay now let us talk about my favorite scenes of Ilsa. First of all my, one of my favorite scenes of Ilsa has got to be the opera scene, like the opera assassination scene, like where they were at the, the turned out like opera. Oh, let me act this out. <laughs> She's like, um, this, and then this. <laughs> and it's certainly not as cool as her, but basically like that. And that scene just made me fall in love with her straight away. And I also really like Ilsa in Cashmere. I think Ilsa in Cashmere, like the, 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 the green coat and like the pigtail when she's fighting like Solomon Lane in the wooden wooden house, house. And now I want a green coat like hers. I don't know why, I just really tend to fall in love with the character's coats. Oh, and of course, Ilsa on the motorcycle. Like, who can forget that? <laughs> so yeah, I think not only is Ilsa like so like fierce, I think she's also like really smart because she works for so many things. Her power to like juggle between all these identities is also really nice. And before watching Mission, I already know that I'm gonna fall in love with her and I was right. <laughs> Mission Impossible is really good at like having like really like strong female characters and heroines not just like damsel in distress and like waiting for someone to get save her she like the female characters in mission impossible are like almost all strong and can like just achieve things of their own and ilsa is no exception so it's getting dark so i just opened my lights but just ignore the lighting change by the way guys Ilsa Faust is literally my computer wallpaper right now. And also, Ilsa Faust is literally my phone wallpaper right now. As you can see, I really like her. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about my love for Mission Impossible Fallout. And like a little heads up, I haven't actually watched the third and fourth film yet. I'm gonna, pl I'm planning to watch them tonight. So like when I draw Ethan, I'll have something to talk about, huh? So yeah, I love Mission Impossible Fallout so much. I think one of the reasons is because like the change of scenery, like the, because you know Mission, they go to a lot of like countries and places. Especially, I love the last sequence when they were in Kashmir. I just love all the scenes and also like the trailer. I, I've seen the Mission Impossible Fallout trailer like at least six times now. I just... One of the best trailers I've ever watched. Oh, and yeah, I also really like Benji in the film. Like, I like Ben Benji in all of the films. I think Benji, sometimes he sh he's a bit silly and sometimes he, miss he messes, like, things up. But he's just such a fun character, dying to try, like, fun things with Ethan. Hey guys, now it's the next day. Yesterday was too late, so the lighting wasn't good, but I finished Ilsa yesterday, and I'm just gonna show you right now. Look at my Ilsa! Ilsa Faust! So yeah, this is my Ilsa. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like Ilsa, please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you next time when I draw another character. See you when I draw Ethan. <laughs>